Hey guys and welcome back to the channel, I'm Zemo the Dad in DPS and we're back again with another video. Today's video is going to be another episode of The Good, The Scrap and the Script where I basically find, or rather, have found a weapon in Appalachia and I see how well it's going to do. But before we get into that, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. So, guys, don't forget we've got our social media links, which are down below in the video description for Twitter, Facebook, and Discord. I would really appreciate if you joined the Discord server, the bigger community we can have. Leave me a comment, say hi, all that kind of thing. And yeah, we'll catch you with that. You better be prepared. I've got vats for days. Now, this weapon is something a little bit unusual. Um, it is a vampire weapon, which immediately makes it good, but we also have the new effect, replenish action points with each kill, and the 25% less VATS action point cost. Pretty much this weapon is going to be able to use VATS for longer and regenerate VATS as we kill things. Now, my perspective of this weapon is not going to be a giant killer. You're not going to use it on the Queen, you're not going to use it on Errol. This is a weapon for taking out small enemies with relatively no hassle. Um, gun food, all that kind of good stuff, sneak, all that. Um, very much um, a weapon that you can just all fire, <laughs> essentially. Whether it works out that way, I don't know. We're going to find that out. So, let's see how it does first off. Alright, let's see what happens when we shoot things in the face. I mean, it's a fixer. I, I don't not expect it to murder everything in the immediate radius of me. Um, I am not using Grim Reaper Sprint. This is pretty much all on the back of the gun itself um, and you're seeing for the most part I'm not really struggling for vats at all um, just annihilated the entire room completely stealthed and yeah doing really well that's a okay pistol as well um, the damage is not bad because obviously it's a fixer this is a full health build so it's not getting the the full benefit of unyielding and whatnot um, but yeah I'm actually really impressed with how it's performing so far um, if I was getting hit then there would be more of an issue um, but I'm not um, I mean that's the, the kind of beauty of this weapon is if I was he just went out the window if I was getting hit um, I'd be regenerating quite a significant chunk of health as well and for this kind of build that I've got, a vampire weapon is definitely a must um, because I don't avoid damage, I just have to sit there and take it. It is one of those definitely kind of usable weapons and depending on how many crits I get off or depending how quick it is, you're seeing that my, my AP kind of just regenerates per enemy um, so it's, it's a case of I can in theory and definitely VATS, for the most part. I mean, uh, there is going to be instances where I can't. Obviously, if I was up against Errol or something just as big, I can't VATS him forever. He's not going to die quick enough to regenerate the, the AP. So this, this is definitely a weapon for going and farming enemies. Um, bigger enemies, obviously, you're going to use a lot more AP and you are not going to regenerate it quite as efficiently. But I definitely think it's a decent weapon for sustaining it. You could argue using Grim Reaper Sprint, but that would also reduce your damage. And I have the advantage that I can basically avoid using anything like Grim Reaper Sprint and basically just maul everything into the ground. But maybe that's just me. Now, the past couple of videos involved weapons I haven't shown the build. This is a relatively low-level character with not a lot of the legendary perks done, so the build has to be a little bit more on the fly. So it's not a definitive build, hence why I'm showing you. Um, we've got all the usual kind of things in here, just stuff to reduce weight. Then we've got Concentrated Fire Level 2, uh, Expert Commando, Commando, um, 
tank killer and ground pounder uh, fireproof in there we've only got one rank of tenderizer but we do have the third rank in there if we do want to pop more damage but we need xp then we've got gunsmith batteries included demolition expert these again can be swapped out for other perks depending on it but the intelligence that mainly there for xp then in agility we have adrenaline gunfu obviously so we can swap sneak because well this build needs to be stealthy uh, born survivor mr sandman and covert operative all for that extra damage and here we have critical savvy starts jeans class freak and bloodied mess and you can see we don't have our legendary perks maxed out so that is why i'm not using certain things obviously that needs to be maxed out as well that would improve our damage even further but yeah you can see the gist of why certain things are the way they are now, as I've stated before, this is not a giant killer weapon. On top of that, it is very much just, in essence, a non-legendary fixer in terms of damage. Um, it's not getting any extra damage buffs, so how quickly it's going to kill this, well, kill Jeff, is very moot. But you at least get to see that you don't need it to be anything spectacular. He drops like a sack of turds very easily with this weapon. Now, as usual, for consistency, we're going after the Queen. Realistically, again, it's not the weapon to take her out. It is a weapon for um, just the usual stuff. I am using Tormentor as usual because that just turns the Queen into a giant target that I just shoot into I mean look at this I don't really need to fight her and uh, just cripple both her legs and then gradually whittle her down um, and I don't even really need to be in vats at this point but it is just that I kind of thing of saying you can kill the big things with this weapon it's just not optimized damage so don't expect anything spectacular so the biggest problem I've got today is that it is stealth day. It is decryption, so I can stealth myself, but all the enemies in here are stealth based um, when they're not attacking. So, you know, pretty much I'm not going to see them. And that's kind of the problem. That being said, the fixer still completely annihilates them with relative ease. And as you can see, my health just survived a full powered freaking what do you call it um shooting at me and as long as my teammates are getting hit i can kill things relatively happily um everything dies pretty quick uh, there's no real problem in terms of damage at all with this gun it is fantastic at what it does um obviously you're not getting to see the AP refresh that you would normally see because I can't use that right now um, So there is that kind of downside if you're in this particular scenario, but The real kind of point is how does it do in daily ops? It does well. It does very well um, when I can freaking find the enemies uh, And you can hit fire it well not hit fire and uh, manually aim it quite easily it doesn't have insane recoil, it's it's a fixer. I mean, there's nothing bad to say about this gun in the slightest. Um, and that is the kind of greatest strength of this weapon, because it is a fixer. It is always going to be a fixer. And it's a vampire fixer at that. So, yeah, does the job. And with that, we have today's video. Now, if you enjoyed it, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe as usual. It really helps out the channel, keeps me motivated, keeps me going in general. And let's thank our YouTube members, which are Twice Picks Buds, Goldie Wyatt Blackburn, Wallers Me, Dale Fane Gaming, Colin G, Gary McKnight, Oface, Brian RMC, Peggy McKnight, Metal Doom, Matazbo, Dragon God Slayer X, Devil Man Games, Marcus Carrasco, and Scott S. Big thanks to you guys. We can't do this without you, and I appreciate every bit of support that you guys give me. So, yeah, today's weapon I think was really effective at what it does, which is primarily keeping me alive and keeping me shooting vats against small enemies. Don't get me wrong, it's not going to take out the big fellas as easily, um, but the DPS, because it is a fixer at the end of the day. Um, otherwise, really good gun. But with that, we'll catch you all next time.